massive opportunities for young people, massive opportunities for older people. That manufacturing itself is a very exciting, innovative type of place to work, where there are many, many challenges, but most of those challenges are challenges that actually provide a great deal of reward from meeting them and actually going beyond them. It really is a fantastic time to consider an apprenticeship in Hull. Lots of inward investment within the area, lots of large companies coming into the area. My role here today is to actually tell people more about our business, to let them know more information about our heritage and the stuff that we do within our business, as well as telling them how we need to create more opportunities for apprenticeships and what kind of functions they could work within, within those apprenticeship schemes. We have currently 15 apprentices just in Hull and various sectors. So we've got engineering, business administration, NIT and soon to be procurement. Before even trying to get a job, go out and get some experience, get some work experience, whether that be a paper round, whether that's helping other people. Get the knowledge first, get the knowledge of what it takes, what it takes getting up in the morning, what you have to do. We do have some skills gaps coming through in our businesses and they're predominantly in the engineering function, our food science functions. And the apprenticeship route provides, in my view, an ideal opportunity for a young person to get involved with an industry, to learn about learn the skills for that industry and map out a very successful career. Um, well, I did a BTEC engineering at school, so that played a large part in my career path after school. I left school just before 16 and uh, I applied to join HETA, um, Engineering Training Association in Humberside, who uh, offer apprenticeships to young people up to the age of about 25 who are looking to get into the engineering trade. Originally I wasn't planning to do an apprenticeship. Uh, I went to university actually and ended up dropping out after a year. But uh, I thought, well, this is a new opportunity to get some real work experience and a real qualification. So I went for it, I uh, got the job and I've been there three, three years now. I've always had the uh, initial idea of doing um, something mechanical because I've always liked turning things apart and seeing how they work. I went down the engineering route because there's so much, so much you can do, it's that diverse. It's not all dirty, mucky, grubby work. You can, there's so many routes that you can go down that is to do with like clean, clean work that you can do, which I work on, which is the water systems. So everything has to be spotless, it all has to be precise. At the age of 20, spent two years working as a plumbing and heating technician yeah, for a local plumbing and heating firm and was actually made redundant by them. I was definitely achieving in the sense of I was helping these lines running in the factory that I worked in. I was helping to make sure that they were never broken down, they were constantly producing product and that I was, I just felt like an effective member of, uh, of the team at the company that I worked in really. I never had any formal qualifications in an apprenticeship so every firm that I went to uh, applying for plumbing and heating jobs I never got much of a response from them. That was when I took the decision to take a step back and take a formal apprenticeship route down the engineering path. Because obviously school I was uh, a lot less than working I was so um, getting up quite early. It was quite hard at first, I was quite tired, but after a certain routine I was sort of ready for work anyway, so it was, it was good. I mean, being 21, all the other apprentices are all 16, 17, fresh out of school, and I'm there, sat there, and I think I'm, I'm a bit out of place here, but uh, yeah, I'm really glad I did it. Um, in that you kind of, you feel more like an adult, as silly as that sounds. I mean, I was 16, so I was still quite young, but I was getting up every day, doing something different. It's the passion to be part of RV. You know, it's, it's the fire to drive yourself forward, to want to learn, to want to develop yourself, and not to be afraid to ask. We look for them to be engaged, and we look for them to want to work in food manufacturing. And it's using opportunities and, and being brave and have the courage to step forward out of the shadow and basically ask and say, yeah, I'm, I'm the best person you can get. You know, this is what we're looking for. It's someone who is passionate, who wants to be part of our journey and wants to have a career with us. I look for passion. I look for people who understand a little bit about us. Loads of information on websites. It's not as hard as it used to be now. 
Um, I look for them to have done some teamwork, I look for them to have some good communication skills and be open to training as well because that's really important for us. Hard work, um, passionate, um, listen, be eager to learn, try and impress um, when you're doing those jobs and be honest, be honest with yourself. If it's not right for you, then you're not going to get on and be honest with the people that you're working with. Speak to your careers advisor, speak to the colleges and the other trading providers, but also the employers, many of whom we've, we've heard from today, who are hugely committed to developing apprenticeships going forward and see them as the route to actually creating a high quality, highly skilled workforce for their businesses going forward.